Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and I wanted to demonstrate the functionality of the OneKey wallets. I have a OneKey Touch and a OneKey Classic here, and I've done setup videos for both of these wallets. I'll put links to those up in the corner and down in the description below so you can check them out. But there's a lot of stuff I didn't get a chance to cover in my setup video. There's a lot of cross functionality when you use the one key application on your desktop and then the corresponding application on your phone. And you can interface with both of these devices in the apps and manage multiple cryptocurrencies and multiple wallets. So I wanted to just give you a demonstration of that and show you how to do some transfers with cryptocurrency. So I'm here on their homepage where you can find out more about the company and the various products that they make. I'm gonna be demonstrating two of their top line models, the One Key Classic and the One Key Touch, uh, but they've got other models that might be a better fit for you depending on your budget and your needs. Uh, also, there's a lot of great features in this wallet. It's 100% private and secure and 100% open source. Also, they have end-to-end -end encryption so that what you do with your crypto wallets is private. One of the best things about using the OneKey wallets is their Web3 integration. There's a lot of flexibility in how you can manage the wallets and the various cryptocurrencies within the wallets. So let me go ahead and demonstrate how that works. As I mentioned, I've done setup videos for these wallets, so I already have the app installed. And it's got a great desktop app with a lot of features. And notice up here that I can manage the different wallets. Now, they're really easy to manage, uh, add and remove in the app. Uh, I'll just remove these real quick to show you how easy it is to get them back. Right, you never really have to rely on the software interface because all of the important information is stored on the devices themselves offline. So even if your computer crashes or your software crashes, not a big deal. You can always install it again on a new machine if your computer is dead or after a clean install, uh, you never have to worry about losing your crypto. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect the one key touch. I'll use a USB cable since we're using the desktop here. So of course the device is protected by a pin. So you go ahead and enter your pin to unlock your device. So once you have your device connected and unlocked, you simply go over here to wallet and just create a wallet. And all you have to do is connect your hardware wallet, right? The wallet has already been set up. There's a little bit of crypto stored on there. So I'll just click connect and it asks me to connect the device. I've already done that. Uh, it sees the device. I'll go ahead and click here. Checks my device. Uh, it connects to the device. And so now you can see it up in the corner here. And you can check your network. All right, and to select the networks, you uh, can bring this window up and just tick off the cryptocurrencies that you would like to manage. All right, they support quite a few different crypto networks. All right, and you can see that I had previous balances safe and sound in the wallet. All I had to do was re-add the wallet in the interface and I was good to go. Notice that their desktop app has swap features. You can swap on different networks. And so if you have Ethereum, you can swap for other ERC-20 tokens. Uh, you can also swap on the Binance Smart Chain. They also have this market section where you can check the prices of different cryptocurrencies. You can star and unstar your favorites. Uh, you also have a buy and sell feature here. Uh, if you want to buy uh, crypto, you can buy it directly in the app. And they have various payment methods that you can use. So uh, very flexible. So I'll go ahead and disconnect this and connect my classic. Same connector actually. So the Classic is a little cheaper. It doesn't have a touch screen, but it has a readout and menu buttons that you can use. So I'll go ahead and put my pin in here. All right, so I have the device connected and unlocked. We'll just pull this menu down and choose plus. Uh, and again, we'll connect a hardware wallet. Uh, the device is already connected. It sees it, identifies it. Since I've unlocked it, there's full access. All right, and I'll go through the same process. I'll hit create account and I'll tick off the networks that I want to monitor and click done. And it will uh, 
show the networks that I've selected, and if there's any existing wallets, it will uh, retrieve the balance for me. And so as you can see, I've got a balance here. And I can flip between the two wallets, which is really nice. So I can flip between the one key touch and the one key classic. You can also do your firmware updates from here. All right, if you click the three dots here, you can go over here and run the firmware update. And you can rest assured that it's safe because you're using the official app. You've got my device connected. I have my passphrase written down and then I will need to confirm on my device. All right, so I'll hit this key here to confirm that firmware update. But in this case, I'll enter the pin on the screen. I've got the numerical layout on my device that I can refer to. All right, now it's installing the firmware. We'll go ahead and confirm the update again. And it's gonna install the firmware on my device. All right, so that was relatively painless and uh, my device is rebooting, all right? And once the device is rebooted, simply enter the pin and you're good to go. So um, very simple and easy to use and manage multiple wallets. I also wanted to point out how easy it is to use these same devices with your phone. So there's a one key app that you can download and monitors your balances. You'll notice here it's the same balance that I have in the desktop over in the other wallet here. Pretty cool. And we can manage both the one key classic and the one key touch because they both have Bluetooth. So if you can compare the devices, I'm using the classic and the touch and they both support Bluetooth. And uh, all I have to do is go up to the top left corner and tap there to uh, manage the different wallets that I have connected. Right here, I'm monitoring just the Ethereum, but we can switch to all networks. Put in the accounts that we uh, would like to monitor so that we can see all our tokens at the same time, depending on uh, the tokens that you want to manage. So you can see that the amounts are uh, in sync here. The private key is stored offline, but the public information can be exported from your device to your trusted devices like your computer or your phone. And it's really easy to add and remove. If I go up here, I can tap and then uh, I can remove both of these devices if I want to. And as long as I have them uh, open and uh, unlocked, then I can uh, use the Bluetooth. So I have this device open and unlocked. I'll just tap up here and I wanna hit plus for a new wallet. Right? And I'll choose connect hardware wallet. I have the device here. I'll tap connect device. It's just gonna search for the device. It actually sees them both because the one key touch is charged up and it's on and unlocked. So I can, uh, I'll start with the touch. Right, and then I'll just go ahead and re-add the accounts that I want to monitor. You can add as many or as little as you want. Of course, you would want the ones that you've got some balances in. All right, it syncs up and it's ready to roll. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, connect the classic. We'll do the same thing. We'll hit this plus. We'll choose connect hardware wallet. We'll choose connect device and it's going to search, seize the device already, uh, seize the device that's connected. We'll go ahead and add the uh, classic, and you can see that the interface between the devices is active. And remember, this is only if the device is unlocked, which means that you had to enter uh, your pin to open up the devices. So it's not like someone can walk by and uh, connect to your devices. And even if they could, they would need the hardware device in order to move crypto, right? So uh, these uh, phone and desktop interfaces are only so that you can manage your crypto. So you can see your balances and uh, your portfolios, but nothing can be moved out of the wallet unless you have authorized with the device.
but that's the principle behind a cryptocurrency hardware wallet. The devices that I'm using here are not really wallets per se. They are part of the wallet, but they are more specifically the keys to the wallet, just like the keys to your car. Can't start your car and drive to the grocery store without the keys. You cannot move crypto out of these wallets unless you have the key to unlock the wallets. So now you can see that it's very easy to manage your crypto either on your desktop or on your phone using these hardware devices, keeping your private keys offline and secure. Don't forget to check out the OneKey website. And if you're interested in any of the products that I demonstrated today, I have an affiliate link down in the description below. If you have any interest at all in the product, I would encourage you to use my affiliate link. Helps me and helps the channel. If you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.